Sainsbury's Czech Pilsner. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Band Marks and Bose Views. Sun's over the yard arm, that means it's time for a beer. And I've got a bottle of this. This is the Sainsbury's Czech Pilsner. Now, first interesting thing about this is that it was cheap. Second interesting thing, all over this bottle it says it's brewed in the Czech Republic. Alright, okay. If you look on the back of the label, it says it's brewed by Stara Pramen in the Czech Republic. What's interesting about that is Stara Pramen, of course, is available over here. You see it in every supermarket. It's everywhere. That is brewed in Burton-on-Trent or Northampton. One of the two, I'm not sure. Could be Burton. Uh, I think it's brewed by Carlsberg. But anyway, it's brewed in the UK. Right, um, this is brewed in the Czech Republic. It says it everywhere. It says it on the bottle. It says it on the label up here. It says it on the back. It says it online on Sainsbury's website. So I can only assume that this is brewed in the Czech Republic. Which, if it is, I think that's brilliant. However, there's a downside. It's in a green bottle. So if I open this and it's skunky, I will not be happy. Um, Star of Prime, of course, comes in a green bottle too. And if you're wondering why I don't like green bottles, I don't like green bottles with beer because it will go skunky, especially lager will go skunky if it hits the light. Now I bought that from Sainsbury's. That was out on a shelf. It was under the light. I've got a beer fridge here. Every time I open it, the light goes on. And it doesn't take long for it to be exposed to the light, for it to go skunky um, you're talking 10 minutes something like that you know um, I've done a there's a video on bad beer on my channel it goes into a lot more depth on there about uh, skunkiness so have a look at that if you want to learn more about skunk don't do drugs kids right uh, yeah Star Prime of course are well known one of probably one of the best known breweries in the Czech Republic uh, they do a fantastic Pilsner. I've done a gig over there once. And we got free Star of Ramen. But the thing was, it was I think it was something like 89p a pint there. So <coughs> I wouldn't have minded paying for it. I do remember it being good though. And I tried quite a few others. I tried Budvar over there. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the gig we did was in a place called Bruno. And it was just teeming with good beer. Anyway, um let's get on to the let's get on to the beer. Right, it's a 500ml bottle, it's 5% on the nose. It's, it's it's lacking in detail, it just says it's a full-bodied, balanced Czech lager with a wonderful bitter hop finish. Now, if it's st there's rumours going about this, this is actually Star of Prime, just bottled and given a different label. Now, I don't know about the label, but it's more in keeping with the Urkel, Pilsner Urkel. Which, if you don't know, if you've heard of Pilsner Urkel, that that is the originator of all lagers. Every single lager you see, whether it be Foster's, whether it be Star of Primen, was all based on the Pilsner Urkel style. So they've got a really good um, claim to fame. But this is not Pilsner Urkel. This is made by Star of Primen. There's rumours going around that it's Star of Primen in another bottle. Why they would do that, I don't know. But Let's get it open and let's see what gives. <sighs> I 
there was a little bit of skunkiness I thought when I opened it, but it's it's not there so much now. But it is there. Hmm, disappointing. This could be a bad one. Let's get it into the glass. In fact, that's all I'm getting from it is skunkiness. But it hasn't, you know, with some of the beers that I've had that are skunky, when you, as soon as you open it up, the whole room feels full of that skunky, horrible f smell. And, um, yeah, it's not good. And it still winds me up that people think that is actually how beer should taste. Fat right off. There it is in the glass. Masses and masses of carbonation. You have a two finger foamy white head. There's the cap. It's just a, it's just a gold cap. Mmm, I keep getting wafts of skunkiness from it. There's not much coming out of that at all, to be honest. Um, it smells distinctly average. I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. Wish me luck. And have another go. It's not bad. Um, mouthfeel is quite nice. There is an earthy, hoppy taste which I'm assuming is coming from Sars Hops, which um, if it's a Czech Pilsner, it should have Sars Hops in it. They're the, um, they're the default hops for Czech Pilsners, and I'm sort of getting that in there. Like an earthy bitterness towards the end. There is a little hint of skunkiness. It's not enough to put me off, but it's there, which is slightly annoying. There's a nice aftertaste on it now. And it's much lighter than the beers that you'd get from Star of Prime that's been brewed in the UK. The lighter mouthfeel. Yeah, it's it's much lighter on the palate as well. And um, there's nothing in there that's making me think this is not brewed in the Czech Republic. It just tastes different. I think the water is lighter now. I know Burton Water is renowned for its what they call seasoning, and that's the the trace elements that go into the water that give Burton its unique flavour. In Burton Water, its unique flavour, and in that instance with Burton Water, it's the sulphur content. I'm not getting that in there at all. It feels very light on the palate, which for lager is brilliant. That sulphurous. Um, water, which is really good for ale, don't get me wrong, it's the perfect um, water for ale. I don't think it, it goes well with lager. I think the lager that's brewed up in Burton on Trent, it, it just doesn't work. This is nice and light. You just feel it on the palate. It's what I'm getting. Carbonation has calmed right down there, and it is super smooth. It's really nice. Um, yeah, this is not bad. Slight downside with the with the slightly slightly skunky flavour and aroma that came out of the bottle, but that's to be expected. Um, all in all, you're getting a lovely balanced, light feeling lager with this, or a pilsner, and it is a pilsner. And on the whole, this is not a bad example. Now, there's rumours going around that this is Star of Prime and rebadged. I don't know whether that's true or not. I would question why they would do that. But 
it could well be. I do remember Star of Prime and tasting like this. And as, as I told you before on the, I think I reviewed Star of Prime and a mate of mine from the Czech Republic, it was his favorite beer. I said, you drink it when you come over here? He said, he can't stand it. He said, it's absolutely disgusting. So there you go, there is definitely a difference. I had a little rant in one of the videos, I can't remember which, it might have even been that one about um, a BBC article. I think it was, oh, it must be what, 17 years ago now, where they questioned, you know, why they were brewing all the stuff over here. And they were just, it was almost like they were dismissed with a wave of a hand going, oh, it's the same stuff, it's the same ingredients. It's not the same ingredients. Don't let anybody ever tell you that is the same. Don't let people tell you that the stuff brewed over here is the same as what you get over here. Next time I'm in Belgium, I'm going to bring back some Stella that's brewed in Belgium. And I'm going to compare it with the stuff that's brewed over here. There will be a difference, I guarantee that. Anyway, let's get back to the beer. What's the verdict? Um, my heart dropped when I opened it and there was a little bit of a skunky aroma to it. But luckily, that wasn't predominant in the beer. It's, it's very, very subtle in that beer, almost non-detectable now as you drink it. And uh, what you do get is a really nice, good example of a Czech Pilsner. And it's got a lovely mouthfeel, really nice. Um, it's got quite a good balance. It's got sars, hops, bitterness to it, and earthiness to it. And all in all, it is not bad at all. That, I think, cost me £1.80 something. Now, if you want a decent beer and you're on a budget, you could do a hell of a lot worse than going to Sainsbury's and get a bottle of this if you're a lager drinker. Now, Sainsbury's do some shit. Don't buy their own brands. They do an IPA, American-style IPA, they call it, brewed by Marston's. I've reviewed it on the channel. Don't bother. Do not bother. It is disgusting. If you're a lager drinker, get yourself down now <coughs> and get yourself a decent Czech beer for £1.80. You cannot go wrong for that money. All things considered, um... I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Why I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 is the green bottle, for starters. I'm going to knock a mark off for that. There is no excuse for that. I know they do it because green bottles are um, traditionally a symbol of export beer. Well, you know, Star of Primal isn't an export beer. They just put it in green bottles. Budvar do it as well, and it fucking annoys me. Great beers, both of them. Don't get me wrong. But I wish, just wish they would put them in brown bottles. Um, second is the is the slightly skunky taste that you get on this. It's very slight. I mean, most drinkers probably wouldn't detect that, but I don't know. My nose can immediately. Well, you know, it's not hard, is it? It's not as if I've got fucking dog senses or anything like that. Skunkiness, you know, is, is quite evident, but I can smell it, and, and the signs are all there with the green bowl. But I mean, these are just you know asides. That's really good. If you can get it in a box, or whether you know it's been covered up, brilliant, you're gonna get a great beer. It's probably a 10 out of 10 beer. But I'm just going on what I've I've got here, and that is an eight out of 10 beer. But it's a good one, and I recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.